Alrighty guys, so just like my Ochako unboxing, my phone decided to mute me while I was explaining how I packaged this commission, which is a commission of Aiko Mitsu for my friend Peach Daisy, and I actually included the original line art, which is very rare, but since it's very clean, I'm like, I might as well just throw that in there. So if Peach, you decide to color it, good luck, <laughs> because it's done on normal sketchbook paper. I think I wrote that in the note as well, but I just threw that in there because I thought it was a cute addition because um, I was very happy that somebody decided to commission me for my characters. So, yeet! <laughs> guys i have not shared manga in a lot of my vlogs but i'm reading a manga called behind the desk it's actually really freaking good i really love it actually um this is the picture of it if you guys want to see the picture of it to see if you guys read it or not it's so freaking good but i'm on chapter 38 page 11 luckily i stopped it on the page where it's not spoiling but this butthole right here i just want to take him and throw him in the garbage hey guys so i'm in the motion of redrawing my first drawing i ever did on youtube but look at this i'm rewatching like old k-pop videos in which was uh, life back in the day and i'm watching super junior sorry sorry because that's such a good song if you guys have not heard of it i don't know how you're alive but i decided to give hey Chul his little time in my vlog because if you guys didn't know i did a sticker of him and puff Quo from their we got married season and i'm like okay hey Chul, i see you i see you even though it's the video is almost over he pops up so i'm just like okay hey Chul. alrighty guys i'm watching the last episodes of a crazy little thing called love and doesn't he look like a Chinese version of Jen from BTS? Just look up Jen from BTS and then come back to this part of the vlog and just look at him. He looks exactly like him. It's crazy. Hey guys, it's pretty much Saturday morning. Um, I spent a majority of yesterday binging the rest of the episodes of that drama I watched on Netflix called A Little Thing Called First Love, and I am, like, overjoyed to the moon because it ended the way it should have ended, and it was super cute. I was, like, grinning from cheek to cheek all 36 episodes, so if you guys have Netflix, please watch that drama. It's so good. The pacing was on point the way the actors were was on point the dress how they dressed the characters was on point so it's a five out of five for me i lived for it um the only thing that was like off to me was that there's one girl in the drama that was in love with the main guy but they never really showed her actually giving up on him you know it just kind of assumed that she's like over him but that's not really something to be mad about it just kind of threw me a little bit but other than that it was really good so yeet alrighty guys we're getting ready to go see frozen 2 um, I'm pretty much gonna wear the same clothes I wore to church because this is just very comfortable and um, I think when I go see movies I need to be comfortable rather than being you know you know dolled up for a movie so yes I do have to use the bathroom so that's what I'm going to do I, I don't know if I want to switch to actually leggings or just sweatpants because these these are sweatpants but they're jeans and they're not comfortable if I'm full or if I have to go pee but I think I'm just gonna keep these on but oof I'm pee now because I hate peeing when you go to a movie because you have to run back so you won't miss a lot of the movie so I'm gonna pee before I go but we're ready <laughs> Alexa play the new Taylor Swift the movie theater music. alrighty guys we are in Dollar Tree Family Dollar we just finished Frozen. It was really good. I highly recommend people to go see Frozen 2. It's really good. Um, I didn't really see the first one all the way through, but the second one's a high 9.5. It's really good. Look at the, the kitty cats. They're so cute. Alrighty guys, I officially finished my soap piece. Soap is a ship of J-Hope and Sugar. I don't know, I did ship Sugar with Jen, but as soon as I saw him and J-Hope's videos, I'm like, nope, I shipped soap. So my 
ultimate pairings in BTS is J-Hope and Suga and Jungkook and Jimin. The, these four are equally shippable and ah, I just find it so cute. What Cook mean is more of a lover ship because Jungkook and Jimin I swear have something going on between them so that's why I ship these two and J-Hope and, and um, Suga I don't ship them because of romantic feel I ship them because they need each other because if you guys are fans of BTS you'll know Suga is the ultimate tsundere he legit is a tsundere he doesn't he's very unmotivated and he just gives off that face like leave me alone and I don't want to be bothered whereas J-Hope is the exact opposite he's very bubbly very um energetic and I feel like they need each other to balance each other out and Suga actually said that himself he was just like I need J-Hope because he was like, J-Hope motivates me to keep on going. So, I don't know. I really feel like they're equally shippable, but in a more reliable type of sense. I don't know. Alrighty, guys. So, I just got off of work. Um, I was supposed to be out of my job at 6. And we didn't start heading home to like 7.30. So, it's just, oh my gosh, I just can't. I just legit can't. I'm like so hyped right now. I haven't calmed down yet. So, once I calm down, it's when I want to be like, okay, whatever, it happened. But... What happened, I'm not going to say what happened because it's really unrelevant, but it shouldn't have happened the way it did. I think I'm going to end a vlog off here because I just don't feel like talking as much anymore. Plus, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I'm not going to be doing anything on Thanksgiving, so my vlog is going to be up on Thanksgiving because whoop. So, happy Thanksgiving to all of you because it's going to be Thanksgiving by the time you look at this video. So, happy Thanksgiving. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it with your family. Um, my family ain't doing nothing on Thanksgiving. We're just going to treat it as we're eating dinner early. <laughs> That's how we treat it. We're just eating dinner early that's just how it is so once it hits like nine o'clock that's when we eat breakfast you know that's just how it is and then we just go on our merrily way so that's what i'm going to be doing so yep thank you guys so much for watching um hopefully this vlog isn't too long if it is i'll cut out all the unnecessary things that don't need to be in here so yeet um so yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video.